Howdy, my name is Riley Adamson and I'm going to show you my van life build out in an ambulance. Let's go see. What I've got is a Ford F-350 ambulance conversion. It's a 1994 and uh, the interior is all custom built and everything you can see here is Baltic birch and then this is cedar and uh, two different types of cedar. The bed is a double and it's a 10 inch, really nice quality mattress. Back here is what I have as my closet. So all my clothes are down here. And then one of the cool features is right here is a laundry chute. So you get your clothes like this, you get your clothes, drop it in, voila. Lay in bed, watch Netflix and snug <laughs> snuggle with a cute little Pluto. And how I charge my phone is in here. This is just my kind of junk drawer. In here, there is a little box, a charge box, um, that goes down to the battery and I just plug in my USB and it goes right to my phone. So this aspect is really easy as well. And this can do USB-C um, high voltage. So it can also charge my laptop. And right here is the controls for the lights. So you can see that this turns down the lights, turns back up. Over here is, I have most of my silverware and dishes in here. This is kind of my junk area where I just have everything. In here is my fridge. So I've got one of the Dominic fridges. It's great. Um, and right here is a heater. So this is hot air coming out uh, and it keeps it nice and toasty even in the winter. Over here is the kitchen area and this opens up to a sink and right here is a trash chute. So throw some trash, goes into a garbage can that's out there that I'll show you. So you can see that's nice and easy. And then underneath here, you can see there's the heater and here's my little stove top. There's Pluto's food right there. And then in here, I just have a lot of storage and Pluto's food. And, and right here, I keep all my hygiene stuff. Up front's the cab, I'll show you that in a minute. And then this is just more storage for food and whatever you need. Underneath here, I have food and fuel for the little stove top. Over here is where I keep a lot of my um, outdoor gear, like my rock climbing gear and some of my coats. In here, I keep all sorts of stuff. So sometimes I have my snowboards in here, um, but right now I've got mostly like hiking, camping type of gear, exploring gear. In the back, so in the back here is the garage and um, it's full of all my stuff, like my chairs and extra storage and things that I need on a semi-regular basis. Over here, this is where the laundry chute goes to. You can see I have my laundry and then, um, and then this is where I keep most of my car gear, like cleaning and extra supplies, things like that. It has two fuel tanks underneath and uh, both of them are about an 18 gallon diesel and that heater that I had plugs right into one of these tanks and uh, um, definitely uses very little fuel and it's super efficient and works, keeps that thing really hot. Uh, in here I have some of my tools and this giant battery um, and all the electrical. So all the electrical, I'll show you the battery or the uh, solar panels up on top in a minute. But all of the electrical I had done professionally. Over here is the, where that trash chute goes. So the trash and the water. In the cab, something awesome about the cab is I've got these two back windows. You can see Pluto ran around over there. Um, uh, rear view mirrors and they're just off of a camera so I can really see well what's going on outside. Up on top you can see we've got two vents and two giant solar panels that connect down to the uh, down to the battery. 
And these two vents, these air vents, work great because they keep the circulation going. So they really, um, what I normally do is have this one pull air out and this one pull air, push air in. So when you're sleeping in the summer, you can get this air flow going that's really nice. This is actually great for two people. You can have, you know, one person sit here, one person sit there, and then sleeping it's really comfortable for two people as well. And then even with Pluto, it's pretty nice. There's, um, these are also um, kind of that new vinyl flooring that you can get uh, that's, you know, pet resistant, keeps everything going well. What we had to do around here was this is the air vents for the fridge. So it has this nice wood trim. This trim is all maple. I usually keep this table up, but when it, you do need to drop it down, there's just these two tabs that you gotta click. And drop it down. There you're good to go. And if you wanna pop it back up, and it locks back into place. This table here is all Baltic birch on edge. I've been living in this since coronavirus came out. Um, I bought this about a year ago in November, and then I worked on the build out for months, uh, nights and weekends, and just hammered away at this, trying to make it look nice and, and high quality. And then I moved in uh, full time in March, but I'd been living in it on and off since January. Overall, it's been pretty nice, right? Like this is a pretty sweet spot to go work. This is the view I have, so I can see out this window um, and see if anything is going on while I'm working. And then out these windows, and then it's nice and good view. And then that's where Pluto no normally sleeps, but I can also see out the back. So I feel like I actually have a really good view of uh, connection to the outside world while I'm working. One thing that I also do is um, these windows that I have, I cover up at night. I cover these windows up with these little covers that I've got. So overall, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you like the video um, and it's useful for some of you who are considering van life and uh, possibly considering a ambulance conversion. So if you have any good um, suggestions or ideas, send me a link. I'd love to see what you guys have. Sometimes you'll go sleep in the cab and particularly when I'm, uh, particularly if I'm going rock climbing or Whoa, what was that, bud? <laughs> I'm going rock climbing or something like that. Uh, he'll go wait up for me up there.